Hey guys, it's Cornelius, and welcome back to our, our history on tool. Let's log in on our save game and take it from there. I do sincerely expect this to be the last episode. I did. I think I did say that on the last episode already, or previous episode, maybe I should say. But how far can we go? If you look at the tech line here, I got. Um, I don't think I've got many options left. Yeah, I got a few. Then it comes to technical singularity. But I think we're already up past the number to actually hit before we come to the end of the game. So let's see where we get to, basically. Okay. That is our city here. Were we saving this up? No, I don't think we were. I can choose where to place my next one of these beauties. Let's take some sea locations. I don't have many yet for this one, if I got any at all. Well, the city itself seems to be idle as well. Interesting. Um, let's actually have a look at our zones. So which zones could we still do something with? We got here. It looks like we got production there. And knowledge is really suffering, it looks like. Okay. Is that a food production site? It does look like it, doesn't it? So let's build another, I would say, farm here. But if we look at the actual improvements, I'm quite confident about the fact that we can actually improve some of our farms here as well. We just need to use the appropriate tools for it. Okay. Dwelling can be upgraded as well. We could do an upgrade of a mine. I don't want to do that as of yet. The sawmill could be upgraded directly. To industrial logging. Okay. Another farm we can upgrade. Perfect. Let's do this as well. Now we do, of course, have here some people we can allocate. As you can see, that ups that number slightly, which is nice to see. I think doing a few of these farm upgrades will be quite beneficial here. It looks like I got one more to do. Let's find yet one more farm. That's not really a massive difference maker, is it? Every little bit helps. I, I, I do realize that. But at the same time, you do need to be realistic, which are really, really helpful versus not being really, really helpful. Prosperity would get a boost. Do I need that? Uh, maybe. Okay, that's it. Uh, looking at the city, though, we still have minus 19. Another idle city here. Uh, we got a fighter stationed here. Let's see. Can we actually do a triumph here? Wouldn't take that long, it looks like. Question is, have I got any empty sectors? I don't think so. That is a bit of a conundrum, isn't it? I really need an empty one for that. 36, 55, 22, 47, 55. Okay, that's not too bad. But again, I don't have any empty sectors here. 79, that's nice, really nice. That's my former capital, of course. And that's my current capital. Can I put any of these in the sea? No, I need to do them on land, which is a bit of a pity. Have I got any of my zones that are blank? Now, all the zones here, as you can see, are already occupied by something or another. Okay, I can put barracks here to improve security. Always welcome. Oh, this was actually an MTQ as well. Interesting. Um, anything else? I could probably do some upgrades. Let's have a look. It's unfortunately the thing in the late game, isn't it? You kind of get to that point where you're like, 
yeah, I could maybe do an upgrade, but this has all taken a fair long time to get this all done. <sighs> I could replace this with something. I just don't know what yet. Game console reduces productivity. Interesting. Yeah, I guess people get stuck to that. That kind of makes sense. Okay. In terms of other projects, I could get some special projects in place. Wealth generation would be a workable one. Yep, that would work for how long? I don't know how much it's going to produce. Ah, it's it's a certain amount of wealth per production. That's not going to do a lot, is it? Crikey. A settler, I can build maybe a few planes or something like that. Let's build a nuclear submarine. I'm going to build a bomber. A normal submarine, another nuclear submarine. Yeah, build a bit of a collection of, of ships and so forth. Um, let's actually go back to that list. This one's getting to be quite empty, this list as well, isn't it? So let's look at the zones, though. Have I got empty zones? No. But I do have food I could put there if I wanted to. Then again, I've already got tons of food in this location. My biggest issue seems to be dwellings. Can I do actually upgrades of maybe other dwellings somewhere else? That would really be the quickest way to basically make this city grow again. Oh yes, I can actually allocate people to stuff here as well. What could we boost? What is this? Craft productivity, okay. Oh, I only had one. Ha. It's not too bad then. At yeah, this city, we need to basically allocate something or another. Looking at my zones, I've got nothing left to do here. The only thing I could potentially do is looking at harvesters. Industrial logging, okay. Industrial logging, both at 33, 34. I think that's all of them that I got. Hmm. I was rather hoping to be able to do something extra on top of that, but it doesn't seem to be likely. So relatively healthy city still. I can basically get some more food in. Hmm, that's a good question. already got bread. I got that one already. So at the moment it looks like that is a dead end. I do need to do something. So let's do another missionary, an oracle, missionary, oracle. Anti-armor team, maybe. Uh, what else could we do? Another destroyer. As long as I build them up as being a reserve, it doesn't hurt. My former capital, yes. I think I said this already. My zones are pretty much full. There's not much else to do here. Unless I want to say. I could maybe get rid of some of the wood production. <laughs> Food, okay. Food is it's good to produce. <laughs> But anywhere I am producing wood at the moment, like here, industrial logging. There, and we're also doing it there. Actually, that one is less productive than the other one, isn't it? Got 151. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. 
let's demolish that one. As a project, let us build here a... What are we going to build? A guided missile cruiser. Yeah, let's build one. Happy to be in an alliance with you. No problem whatsoever there. A library. And we can, of course, create books. I like my books. That are outsides. Always welcome. City tier has increased. That's good. It means we can actually allocate again more towards production of food and so forth. Okay. Food. Am, I, am I short of food? Yes, I'm short of food. So that was actually a good one to do. Have I got more farms I can allocate this to? There are more farms, yes. Question is, which one do I want to allocate this to? Okay, I assigned it to there. More growth here, which is good. This one is still in the positive in terms of food. Barely, but it's still in the positive. Mean at the moment. Okay, it's not an amazing number, but it is positive. So I missed this last go around. Okay, we're positive again. We still got growth potential in that city, so that's good. The specialist is available. The question, of course, is where do we want to send it? some here or I got an oracle here it says not a missionary yet yeah we added more to the queue here or to the reserve maybe I should say a crafter is idle we can do more books or encyclopedia let's do some encyclopedia here I'm not going to do more of that I'm going to use timber for that materials and more materials why not Yet another masterpiece created. I'm kind of getting overloaded with these masterpieces, but okay. Can I do another set? Yes, I can. Opera House. Oh, that's interesting. Can I swap this around with something else? Yes. Okay, interesting. Okay. I can upgrade an irrigated farm to something bigger. Mm -hmm. But it'll be more interesting to first upgrade all the normal farms, which I cannot do because my top ones are already done. Okay, 32, 29. I think I saw a more productive one down here, wasn't it? 37. Okay. Okay, she. Where can I send her to? Okay, we got one here. I got one there. I don't have one here as of yet. City tier increased. Always great to see that happening. We're still positive in terms of food output, so that's great to see that as well. We still got some growth capacity here as well. Paragon spawn rate can be boosted. Hmm, interesting. Extra health for a city. 
uh, health is not such a big issue yet. I'd like to do something about productivity if I can. Extra happiness plus extra gold. That's nice. At the hotel. Hmm. Okay. Let's have a look at these improvements we got here. I'm kind of looking. Is there any housing I can upgrade? There we go. Like I said, housing upgrades always welcome. At least when we switch over to the next tier, we'll have some space there. Okay. Well, my zones are full, aren't they? And I've got negative food at the moment. If I throw some beer in, it does make a teeny bit of difference, but not massive. Cured meat, dried food. That will do the difference. Make the difference. Cool. Okay. Allows me to grow further once again. Good. Oh yeah, of course, I need to choose a project here. 73 in terms of production capability. <laughs> That's mighty nice. If I could do something in the water... Does this have to be on land or not? It doesn't say whether it needs to be on land or water, does it? Okay, let's for now just say I'm going to basically put more money into here. Reserve added, another crafter available here. Ooh, cybernetics, that's interesting. Uh, let's leave it at that for now. Okay, food replication. Advanced medical treatments, always welcome as well. All my zones are fully catered for, it looks like. Let's actually look at the harvesters, because again, I have a surplus here in terms of... Logging. It's a three sector. That's also a three sector. Interesting. Here we go. It's farm. A normal farm. So these guys here are also in a sector for. Actually, they're in a sector for four. So if I were to remove this one. And I were to remove this one. That would give me a bit of space. While still allowing me to, of course, upgrade my farms. Whatever farms I still have that I can upgrade there. Yeah, I did, did set this. And I should have really set this for a longer period. Set this for, you no, know, a number instead. Let's set it to 15, 16. Okay, yeah, that will do. Okay. Another idle crafter. Okay. Bread can go in there, but we don't have enough bread for that purpose. Cured meat or salted fish. Crikey, that is a lot of wealth to put into there. We got tons of syrup, so let's put that in there. Our former capital is idle now. I did say we got uh, an excess in terms of wood production here. And I did think I did something with that already. Irrigated farm. We're going to basically build another irrigated farm, I was thinking. 
unless... Specialist within boost happiness and production. Okay. Dwellings is not an issue for me. I could do with a... Uh, well, let's do the irrigated farm here at least. Did I get rid of other items here at all? No, it doesn't look like it. Let's let's go over all the harvesters again. It's from the ticket from the top. So we got 59, we got 64. I'm sure I'm you yeah, okay. This is basically listing the total that we're producing. And this is also all the consumption that we got then in there. Plus some extra production anyways. If I were to get rid of this one here. Or I get rid of that one. It's not a huge difference between those two, to be honest. <clears throat> At least I can still allocate stuff here. Okay, I got a farm here. Yeah, it's not making a huge difference. Okay, one of each. Prestige is still growing. Okay, the Russians built something, finally. They were long overdue in having to produce something. Okay, let's get one over there. Yet another reserve was added. Yes, happy to get into a research agreement with you. Okay, well, let's get over there at the least. City's gotten to be idle. This is our former capital. Okay, so we got here 42. Sixty for the industrial, okay. Fifty-five. Here we get it. That's sixty-five. Well, wow, that's already huge. If I were to upgrade that, that should get me a really nice number. Let's have a look at what other zones I've got. Now I should have at least one empty spot here. What do I want to put in here? A police station would be interesting. University would also be interesting, wouldn't it? Let's put that university into there. Have we got other empty spaces? Doesn't look like it. Okay, empty spaces here. Not that I can see. Uh, I can upgrade a residence to something else. Interesting. So we're not at the limit yet here, which is great. All right, let's go for our first skyscraper. We've got another claim here. That's nice. So this city's got production of 20 only, which is low, really low, but that's okay. All right, let's see how we can help this city out. I've got more farms that need a bit of a boost or anything. Extra knowledge, always welcome, from the monastery. Extra glass production, always welcome as well. Okay, we're still positive, but only barely. Encyclopedia. Ooh, 
Ooh, look at my production going up. Interesting. Beer. They seem to like beer here as well. And I'm sure we can put more bread into here. So the growth rate should go up with that. Codex, we are consuming more than we're producing. So I'm not going to put this one in there. This one, no. Fine clothes, that's interesting. Gourmet meals, okay. Okay, look at that surplus now all of a sudden. <laughs> I've got a feeling I need to go through my production bits. Armory is fine here, I would say. Bakery, yeah, we're doing fine. Let's have a look at my factories, because I think I got factories where I'm producing too many items simultaneously. Seems to work, I get the impression. Plastics, refrigerators. I'm putting lots of wealth into stuff that I don't necessarily know much about, but okay. Masterpieces created, always fun. You have the highest prestige and are on track to win the game. Keep it up. Okay, so the goal is 39773. Where am I standing at the moment in terms of standing? I'm almost there. Right, it says I've got another item there. Fine here. It was a brief moment in time when I couldn't enter them for some reason. I don't know why. Ah, yet another claim here generated. Nice. Any interesting resources here? Hmm. Interesting locations, most definitely. Okay. Camp. Have I got any new farms that I got? City craft production. Water treatment plant. Okay, interesting. Um, extra wealth production, always welcome. Temple of Bell, the White Column. Let's actually move that higher up in here. So we're going to finish that and then we're going to move on to the next item in line. Okay. Game ends in 25 turns. Okay. Nice. 
I need three more techs. So I need to have all of them, it looks like. So this is the city where I actually said, well, let's see what we can do here. I've still got positive food production, it looks like, which is great. Craft production, okay. Extra school attention. Paragon output. Look at those planes. Didn't even realize I actually was producing those yet, but if they are flying there, they must be being produced somewhere. Okay. So we're looking at the improve. Does it take up a space as well? Maybe. No, it doesn't seem to list a particular square as such. It just says it's around it. Okay, that's good. That's good. Really good. I can finally build a cement plant. Interesting. Which allows me to create concrete. Interesting. Anything new in here? A library. Yeah, we don't get libraries that often, do we? Uh, irrigated farm, irrigated farm. We're at 24 out of 27 there. Lots of irrigated farms that we've got here, so that's good. Ooh. Let's build one more fighter jet as well. We did we generate a claim? No. Did we? No. Okay, I'm okay. There we go. Claim. New act, and it's got a huge production it's basically got, so that's good. I can claim that one, which is a great location. Absolutely marvelous location. But if I want to build a wonder, let's build a wonder here. Okay, what else could we boost? More research, knowledge. Always a good one. New action. Masterpiece created. A city is idle. Okay. This lovely city. It's got negative production. Got a slight, slight excess of wood. I'm not going to basically touch that at all I think all right so I got a normal farm here I got an irrigated farm there a logging camp a mine another mine another irrigated farm here already more irrigated farms these here as well these actually are producing a lot of food as you can see I'll upgrade this one here And as you can see, we also upgrade the radio tower to a data center. Nice. We got a really good reserve ready for things. Okay, new action. Let's find new action here. We're going to add something new to the queue here. We're actually going to choose one of these beauties. Let's build here the Statue of Liberty, I'm thinking. Extra 
extra security. Interesting. No, I'll, I'll stick with this one. But let's swap these two over. Let's first build the Statue of Liberty and then we can follow up later with other things. Okay. I got a city wall here already. That's good. Anything I can upgrade at the moment? I don't think there is. I just don't have the resources for it, it looks like. So I need to build something again. Hold on. Is there a zone that I've emptied anything in? Doesn't look like it. Pity. All right, I'll build another bomber and a guided missile cruiser just because I need to build something. I could maybe focus on wealth as well. That's an actually uh, interesting proposition. Timber, materials, and more materials. Another idle city. <clears throat> Food is negative. Plus, at the same time, we've reached the point where our housing is stagnating. All right, here, we could upgrade our residence here. Let me just double check that location. Okay, it's not the best food location, but at least that gets around the issue of the housing. Irrigated farms. Two is most definitely not bad. 22, 22. What was that top one that we had here? 23, and then here we had 27. So if I upgrade that one, that gets us a nice boost in terms of the food production. Boost. And actually, of course, potentially puts extra bits in here as well. All of these have already been done. That one's already at the limits. That would get me some extra food that I've already got in terms of consumption, so I can't do anything else here. More reserves added. And the nice thing about the reserves is they don't count. At least in terms of basically towards your limits. So here we got a minimal shortage of food. Minimal luckily, which is good. Our gold reserve is slowly dropping. We're still above that required le level there. But we do have still certain locations at our disposal here. Let's build an irrigated farm here. Okay, that will help with the growth somewhat and hopefully we'll get another expansion with that. Idle unit. 19 turns remaining. Okay, core tap is done. Let's go for the armored colossus. You have built the statue. Of we have indeed built the Statue of Liberty here. That's really late game, isn't it? In reality, but wasn't it built in the 19th century? Or early 20th century? I don't remember. Okay, this city. Let's have a look at our zone. So we got a bit of space here. So let's actually go for a normal mine here to start off with. As you will see here, that is actually a good place to put more farms. Let's put an irrigated farm here. Another irrigated farm there as well, I was thinking. Here at sea, of course, we put the fishing nets out. More fishing nets. Okay, housing is not an issue yet. What are we going to put here in the center?
I don't have a city wall yet. Interesting. Look at that. Are they just projections above there? It looks like. <laughs> Interesting. Um, yeah, cemetery would help with happiness. But if I were to build here, for example, a school, that would be quite helpful. city that's grown idle as in non-productive is this lovely city here let's actually have a look at our improvements here so we can upgrade a town center easy i was gonna say let's do the dwellings as well but for some reason that's not letting me at the moment let's first see what the town center does for me no, I'm not going to do that. Chemist I can do, yes. Brewery I'm not going to do either. The mine, I'm, uh, I can do that. Workshop I can do as well. Gosh, I still got an old-fashioned farm here. A whole slew of them, to be precise. But I also can expand here in a direction of my choice. All right, as you can see, I can do something here at C. Let's first see where I can potentially boost more food output, because we're negative in terms of food at the moment, as you can see. Okay. Do I do anything with this, or do I let it just be as is for now? It might be wise to take it out at sea. Okay. You have raised the white tower. Yes, I have raised the white tower. Laconia. Have a look at our zones. Any empty fields in the zones? No, nothing. We now knock off negative wood. Interesting. Food is still positive, so that's good. I don't really want to touch those farms. I want to use that somewhere else if I can. Really a matter of checking, is there anything else we could do here, potentially? All right, let's build one submarine. Yes, we've got a claim here. What are we going to claim in terms of territory? This would be an interesting one to claim. Extra health for the city, and we're in negative food production. That's not ideal, but okay, it, it just happens to be that way. Okay. Let's have a quick look here. Can we give him some fish? Yeah, of course we can give him some fish. Pasties, yes, of course we can give them some pasties. What else could we give them? This I know would give a nice boost. We just need to basically put more production of the indoor stoves into place. Cured ham, again, that's already at the, at the limits there. Beer is also at the limit, so yeah, I guess we're just gonna do with what we got here for now. Let's have a look at the factories here again. So could I put some stoves into production here as well? What do I need for that? I need metal ingots. Do 
Electronics or wealth? Well, let's put some wealth into there. Aluminum, okay. Heavy metals. Okay, the wealth doesn't hurt there. Timber. Fuel, we got enough of that as well. Am I still producing ropes? I don't need ropes. What are we going to produce instead? Let's produce more of these here. Okay, what else could we do here? That is a AI assistant. Computers. We're not producing any computers yet, are we? Actually, we are. Interesting. Televisions. Copper. What is that? Air conditioners. Electronics. Looms. Lampposts. Timber. Uh, we can put some fuel into there as well. Okay. We're now all good. An idle city is here. Food is still negative. In terms of improvements. Yeah, we did talk about there potentially being some space here to improve this one. Nothing I want to change here as such. Another submarine, always welcome. Armored Colossus recipe. Six turns for that final bit. Idol City again. Right, we're getting close to the point where we cannot do anything here anymore until, of course, this city grows. No, it's not a lot, but every bit helps. Got negative positioning here at the moment. Reckon we cannot upgrade any more farms here. It's a pity. Idle city. <clears throat> so we're at the limit of terms of housing here. Food is negative. What can I do about the housing situation? Nothing, to be honest. Interesting. Unless... I'm still going to say, well, let's look for an empty location, but I, I can't find any, which is a pity. An absolute pity. Zeppelin. That requires gunpowder and fuselage. Okay. 
cyber soldier. Computers and plastics are needed for that. I'm pretty sure they're in the queue. Maybe I need to change the queue slightly. That might do the trick. Okay, so we got two now ready here. So on land, I got nothing here. I can only expand on the seas at the moment, as you can see. That requires three. I can't even go here. So where do I want to push through to? If I go for this one, that gets me access to that one. I guess is that what we're going to have to do then. Food is still positive. Still. Not by much, but it is still positive. Okay, let's see about upgrades. Can I upgrade housing or anything like that? Doesn't look like it. Yep, I'm aware that this requires me to do something like this. Reserve was added. Okay, fine. 11 turns until the victory point. Our former capital. Huge amount of negative uh, food production here. We can upgrade this to the skyscraper. Okay, I'm going to consider that. Let's first see what I can do about this farms here. I need more metal tools, which I don't have as of yet. Okay. Claim generated. Lovely. But this city's got a production of 55. That's pretty decent. Pretty decent. How many turns? I've got nine turns left. Okay, so I could... I could actually build another wonder here. <laughs> no empty zones at the moment. Okay, that, that's okay. What we do have, we got a potential of basically allocating additional people towards the production of food. Or extraction of food, maybe I should say. Still negative, but not as negative as before. Stoves are still good. Some books there, always good. Codex we already got exceeding what we wanted it to be. Flowers are always welcome. Ooh, another paragon. Nice. It's for the capital only. Hmm. Share food. Chinese explorer. Okay. 
city of New Acton has gotten to be idle. Looking at the zones again, there's nothing empty here. Claim generated, nice. I thought we were already in a negative. Why are we still producing a claim then, interestingly enough? Mm, good question. No answer to that. Eight turns. It says eight turns. Which most definitely is not bad. Does it say four turns? <laughs> it does, doesn't it? That is quite interesting. I don't know exactly where that comes from, but if that's what they're willing to give me, then fine. I'll take it. It just goes to show that those numbers in the queue, they're not always the most accurate. Okay. Any empty zones? No, but we still got a negative production here, which is a bit of a pity. I was looking to upgrade, of course, some of my farms here. But let's just carry on with this project here. Okay, let's carry on. Naxos, which is our current capital. Any of my farms I can upgrade? Unfortunately not, is it? I need more metal tools. I'm not getting enough at the moment. A masterpiece created, always nice. Yes, happy to be in an alliance with you, don't worry. You have constructed the Brandenburg Gate. I know. What is this? It looks like solar panels at the top, and then oh God knows what it was. Masterpiece created. Agreement proposed. Yes, we're happy to be in an alliance with you. Thank you very much. Okay, another masterpiece. And my city is idle. Ooh, we can upgrade our mines. And finally, we got enough metal tools again. Okay, I'm going to let that be for now. Because in three turns, the game comes to an end. So it says. So we're finally into the negative here, which is well, good to see that we basically reached that point now. The question is, what am I going to allocate it to? Okay. Overall, I got negative food at the moment. Game ends this turn. Really? Let's make it end. Heaven has rewarded your indeed with victory. Victory indeed. Nice. All right, let's see. Okay, we'll skip this bit. 
Religious leader, 15 million followers. I got 77 average prosperity. Is that, is that good? Is that bad? I don't know. It doesn't allow me to basically look at the others. It would be great if I could just click on them and actually see what's their wealth or religious state. Most populous. Well, that's myself. Actually, the 50 million is me. Then after that, we basically got the Crow Nation. Then it would be the Holy Roman Empire, but they don't exist anymore. So why are they still listed? Maybe because historically they were there? Okay, the largest city would be... 64,000 people. Hold on. That doesn't work. That doesn't make sense. Most cities. Yeah, that's me. Followed by, of course, Catherine. Okay. Most regions, 172. Wow. Catherine is next at 112. Tech era, singularity age, information age, atomic age, machine age. Whoa, the crow nation was far behind. Military strength, yep, 1800. Wow. 29,000 production. Crikey. Religious followers, yes, I'm aware of that number. Most triumphs. Well, I've got nine, as you can see. Then we got Russia following a second. And then we got third with the Crow Nation. And then we got nothing from any of the others. Interesting. Most masterpieces, 68 for myself, 52 for Australia. And unfortunately, Russia's only at 27. Interesting. Masterpiece value. Hold on. Ah, so they individually also got a value. Okay. That's the full list. Prestige. Comes from military. Interesting. Okay. The fact that we're in an alliance basically had a big contributing factor. Standing army. Okay. Defeated units. Events. Built improvements. Wars. One technology. Okay. Technology, events, build improvements, wealth gained. Yeah, that was slowly decreasing, unfortunately. In terms of government, the golden age actually doesn't count quite a lot. Quality of life has got a huge impact. Found nation. The fact that you found the nation actually impacts it. Because I mean, I found other nations. Okay. Industry had a huge impact, as you can see. Production strength. Wow. Resource advancements. Okay. All right, guys. That was it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, for me, it was a big learning experience in terms of basically how this works compared to civilization. Here you can skip technologies before you move to another era, but then you kind of miss out on some of it which we found out with, for example, steel not being in there from the very beginning. Well, it was, of course, researchable. We decided not to research it. But yeah, okay. Um, guys, hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you in the next one. In the meantime, take care.